happy Mass Monday. First one of 2023. This is a hydrating water fit mask from Ides. <laughs> Got this from Sasha from Kiki's Cracker Jack Box when we did a Christmas exchange. I have for you some crazy New Year's resolutions. I, as you all know, I don't make New Year's resolutions. I just do a word for the year. If you saw my video that I did earlier, if not, go back and watch it. Okay. Um, some of these I'm going to skip because I don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> um, live my best life and only buy pants with no buttons or zippers. <laughs> yeah, that would help you not worry about losing weight, I guess. <laughs> uh, go vegan for six months and inevitably give up. Yeah, I couldn't even make it six months. Vegetarian, maybe, but vegan, mm -mm. <laughs> Stock up on fresh fruits and vegetables and eat them before they all turn into a green mystery goop in the back of the fridge. Yeah, we all do that, I'm afraid. Sign up for a marathon that I bravely will not actually run. <laughs> um, remember to make overnight oats the night before, even though I know I won't want to eat them in the morning. Yeah, ugh. I just that, those cold oat things. Ugh. I don't even like oatmeal very well, but I really wouldn't like it cold. <sighs> Go on a vitamin and supplement shopping spree and finish at least one bottle before I give up. I actually bought some supplements and Amazon lost them. <laughs> so now I gotta cancel the order and re reorder them. Uh, go outside in the fresh air <laughs> after people staying in for two years, they're like afraid to go outside. <laughs> Relearn social cues after nearly two years stuck at home. This one was from 2021, so you know. It's uh, dated a little bit, although some some states are still staying in, I guess. <laughs> um, stop lying to myself about following New Year's resolutions. Go viral on TikTok. Make a viral reel making fun of TikTok. Pick movies on Netflix flick swiftly and decisively so that, you know, I actually hit play before falling asleep. Yeah, and when I live with the kids and the grandkids, it would take us like an hour to find a movie that everybody wanted to watch, and even then, half the time, we couldn't do it. With teenage boy, young 20s girl, grandma, some, a couple other adults, it was just hard to find something we all wanted to watch. Um... Managed to go the entire year without accidentally telling someone randomly on the phone, love you, at the end of calls. Although the schedule at my dentist office seemed to appreciate it. Yeah, have you ever done that? When you're talking to like some business person or something and you accidentally say, love you, when you hang up because you used to say it to your family. <laughs> Never take home goods for granted ever again. Unfriend every person that shares their unsolicited diet or exercise regime. Become the GOAT at sarcasm. If you don't know what GOAT is, it stands for greatest of all time. Follow Gina Linetti. I don't know who that is. Follow Gina Linetti's advice and turn my tweets into a book. Well, I don't tweet, or not very often, so... Yeah, I always wanted to write a book, you know, like a fiction book. And there's no reason I couldn't do it. I just guess I don't want to that bad. <laughs> Stop buying all the butternut squash ganoche at Trader Joe's as soon as they restock. Leave some for the other shoppers. That actually sounds good. <laughs> don't know if I pronounced it right, but you know what I'm talking about, the little puffy potato pillowy things. Share my New Year's Eve champagne. Oh, anybody can have all of it. I don't like champagne. Ugh. 
keep kicking ass and taking names because detailed record keeping is important. <laughs> Do so much yoga that it actually justifies wearing yoga pants 24 seven. Make so many baked goods for my besties that they start calling me Martha Stewart. Read more or at least turn the subtitles on while binge watching TV. I read a lot. I read at least two to three books a week. So I read a lot. <laughs> Buy as many fa fancy face masks as I want. Yeah, this is another one that, you know, at least in Texas, doesn't really apply anymore. The rest of it says, these are pandemic times, people. If you want a bejeweled swath of fabric to protect yourself or others from COVID-19, do the damn thing. I actually did buy a bejeweled one, but it didn't breathe very well. So I never wore it back in, that, back in the days when I was wearing masks. Although I got to go tomorrow and get a mammogram. Ugh, fun, fun. Love those. And I think I might have to wear a mask for that. Yuck. You know, anytime you go to the doctor's office, I got a doctor's appointment later on in the week too. So anytime I go to the doctor, they still want you to wear a face mask. I guess because some people have, you know, compromised immune systems or whatever in the doctor's office. Carefully read all of the directions on a box of food before throwing it away so I don't have to go garbage diving midway through making hamburger helper. I don't know how many times I've done that gonna make muffins or whatever it is. I don't buy box stuff a lot, but when I do, I pull the box away and then I'm like, oh, how many eggs did that take? Or what temperature did you need to cook that at? Whatever. And you gotta dig it back out of the trash. Don't text that toxic person back. You know the one, we all have one. For it in front of my squad with no shame. <laughs> Stop making lists that include making more lists. I'm not a real list maker. I'm a list reader. <laughs> Eat more tacos. Yeah, I could get down with that. Will every spare wrapping paper tube I come across as a makeshift lightsaber? <laughs> Always got to do that. Or a sword fight. <laughs> Stay in the bathroom while I brush my teeth. Stop drinking orange juice after I brush my teeth. <laughs> Stop daring people to lick frozen flagpoles. Too many people watched that movie, or was it the Christmas story where the kid gets his tongue stuck on the, the signpost? <laughs> use more chapstick. I hardly ever use chapstick and I should. My lips get so dry in the winter. Be okay with having to make more than one trip from the car to bring in groceries. The human arm can only hold so much. Yeah, I got over that a long time ago. That's more of a guy thing that they think it's macho to bring everything in one load. Floss every day, not just with wild abandon in the week leading up to a cleaning. Yeah, I'm bad about flossing. I have a water pick, but the plug in my bathroom doesn't work and there's only one plug and it doesn't work. <laughs> Find more reasons to use the word verisimilitude. I don't even know what that means, and I've got a pretty good vocabulary. <laughs> Book that bougie trip, girl. Stop forcing my family to make New Year's resolutions. When meeting with friends, I will... Stop telling the same jokes or I'll make new friends. <laughs> I will stop saying, hmm, how nice during the inspection at the airport. It only seems to provoke them. <laughs> Why would you say that? I don't know. I always get patted down anyway because I've got those two fake knees and they set off the scanner thing and then they, then they have to pat me down because I've gotten metal flared up in the in the scanner thing all right tomorrow i don't know i'm really iffy about this but i'm gonna go check it out um my daughter-in-law found some acquaintance of hers on facebook was giving away a dog 
So I can get a dog for free, which is good, because the ones the ones I've been looking at have been two and three hundred dollars for rescues, not even a purebred, and it's crazy expensive right now. But it's a blue healer, which are kind of a high energy dog, and I and it, they're like a medium, about forty five poundish dog, and I was really looking for a more laid back, calm, smaller dog. So. I don't know. I'll go check her out. So I'm going to go tomorrow after my mammogram and go check this dog out. Now I'm going to not decide right then and there. I'm going to come back and pray about it for a couple of days and see how I feel. Right now I'm really iffy about it. So that's making me... If my heart's not settled about it, it might not be the right thing. So we'll see after I see her and stuff. But I looked up their blue healers and it says they need up to two hours a day in exercise. And it suggests things like go jogging with them, go bike riding with them. <laughs> I'm like, ah, uh, no, not doing that. Because they're a herding dog, so they're used to running around out her herding the critters. And I've just got, I've got a backyard for it to run around in, but it's not, you know, acreage, it's a backyard in the suburbs. So I don't know whether I'll get her or not. I'm still looking for the perfect dog. Someday it'll come. Ugh, my eyes are so red today. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I always have dark circles under them, but they almost look red as opposed to dark. Whew. Well, luckily I'm not going out in public because I definitely need to slap on some makeup if I went out today with these. I don't have been sleeping very good. Went to sleep at 5 this morning and woke up at 9. And the night before New Year's Eve, Emma and I, after her friends left, she and I stayed up talking till like 3. And then I woke up about 7.30 maybe. So I haven't maybe got eight hours sleep in the last two days which could be why i've got these big old dark circles under my eyes <laughs> I need to try and go to bed earlier it's really weird i went in my bathroom that i never go in the front bathroom and i thought somebody had spilled a soda or something on it because there was like this brown liquid all over the floor that had dried there and I asked Emma, and she's like, no, that was there when I got here. And I'm like, well, you should have told me. And she's like, I, I did. And I'm like, well, I didn't hear you. So I scrubbed it all up, and I'm going to keep an eye and see if it comes back. Because if it's coming back, something's leaking somewhere. So just pray, whatever it was, it doesn't come back. Because I don't want to have to fix some kind of roof leak or plumbing leak or whatever. So hopefully it stays gone. <laughs> And if I get the dog, I'll show her to you when I, when I get her, but I'm probably going to, I, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I, I hate that when you, I got to sneeze, got to sneeze, got to sneeze, and <laughs> it takes a while to get, get there. Um, I probably won't bring her home tomorrow, unless I really, really think it's the right thing. I'll probably go check her out, and then pray about it and decide and then maybe get her in a couple days so we'll see so I don't know the kids still haven't I mean Emma's gonna paint I'm gonna pay Emma to paint that extra bedroom and then I don't know they just got stuff going on I got stuff going on so we'll see if it ever gets done <laughs> if not I'll have to pay somebody to do it well I was gonna pay them to do it but pay somebody other than family to do it. So I was gonna go out to breakfast with Emma uh, Sunday, well, yesterday, and then I realized, oh wait, I don't wanna break my no spend the very first day. <laughs> so she had some leftover pizza from her New Year's Eve thing. So she ate that for breakfast. Cause, and she even offered to take me out to breakfast, which was sweet. And I'm like, I'll just eat your pizza. You don't even take me out to breakfast. <laughs> So, so I made it through. This is day two. I haven't spent any money. 29 more to go. <laughs> well, I do have money set aside that I already set aside last month to pay the kids to do the jobs they're going to do for me. So that's kind of like not spending. It's kind of like paying your utilities or whatever. You got to pay that stuff. 
got my cable, my, my cable, my internet bill, I gotta pay it and, you know, just stuff, internet, health insurance, prescription insurance, utilities, trash, water, electric, all that kind of stuff. All that stuff has to happen. My tithe to church, all those are standard things that you can't not do. So those don't, to me in my head, those don't count towards a no spend. A no spend is, could try not to buy any groceries. Definitely not gonna, I'll, I'll probably have to buy some gas. I'm about left some half a tank, so I'm gonna have to buy some gas. Um, especially after I go out and check out this dog, it's a ways away. So things like that you have to do. So those kind of don't count. I mean, to me, no spend is like voluntarily spending, not things that you kind of have to do. Like I went and paid my taxes, property taxes on my house on the 30th. That's something you got to do <laughs> or they'll take your house away. At least it went down. It was 5750 Texas property taxes are high because we don't have um, state income tax. So we gotta get the money from somewhere so the property taxes are high. So it was 5750 and then I applied for what they call a homestead exemption, but you have to live in the house to get it. So I wasn't able to get it all these years when I wasn't living in the house. And that takes $25,000 off of the valuation of your house. So it makes your taxes go down. So it, it ended up with, it was like four, 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 or something like that. So it was like a bunch of fours in there. Um, so it went down, what, 1300 bucks. So yay, homestead exemptions. <laughs> and because I'm over 65, it's supposed to freeze at this rate. It freezes part of your taxes, but it doesn't freeze the city in school taxes. It just freezes like the state and county taxes. So it'll still fluctuate. Okay, enough chit-chatting. Happy Mass Monday. Hope you have a blessed, wonderful, best year ever New Year. I'm not sure what I'm going to do this month since I'm not buying nothing, so I won't have anything to show you. <laughs> do you guys? Um, down here in the South, they eat black-eyed peas for their good luck on New Year's Day. My growing up, my mom always made a bean and ham soup with the ham bone left from the from the ham. So I bought a ham and I cut the two sides off and stuck one in the refrigerator, which I think I'm going to freeze it anyway, froze the other one and just took the ham bone with some meat on it and made some bean soup yesterday. So now I'm going to be eating that for days because it made like a big old pot of it. <laughs> But hey, it's a cheap meal. I had, I usually use navy beans, but you know, I'm using what I have, trying to use up whatever's in the cupboard. So I had some pinto, like dried pinto beans. So I made, I just, as all I did was use a ham hock with a lot of meat on it, a package of dried pinto beans, some water to cover that all up and a can of Rotel and just cooked that all day long. And it was pretty yummy. I put a lot of meat in it, but it's almost a little salty because of the, all the ham. <laughs> Definitely didn't need to salt it. So what do you guys do for your, I don't believe in luck, I leave, believe in God's providence, but you know, just tradition where you have something on New Year's Day to start your year out. Right, so I, I'm not a real fond of, fond of black-eyed peas, so I went with the northern thing, which my mother used to make white, the white navy bean soup, although she was a southerner. She was from Missouri, but my dad was from Minnesota, so she probably got that from him. So they used to always make the bean soup, so that's what I made because that's what I liked the taste of better, and that's what I grew up with. So I started my year off with lucky beans <laughs> and I had a friend that wanted that she was she made um black eyed peas and wanted to bring me over some and I'm like thanks but no thanks I made myself some bean soup but I appreciate your offer because she made um um hop and john which is um 
black eyed peas and something else. I don't know, something else in it. And she made collard greens, a very Southern dish, but I'd rather have mine. Well, since I use pinto beans, it's kind of a Southern dish too, like more like Arizona, New Mexico, California, close to Mexico kind of, but I put the ham in it. So that made it more Northern. So it's a mixed bag of bean soup, I guess, but I think it was really good. Super easy, just throw it all in a pot and cook it all day. Although it boiled over a couple times and cooked onto my, and I've got one of those, um, it doesn't have burners, it's the flat glass top stove thing. And if something burns on that, I still got a little bit, I was scraping it off with my fingernail. I thought I got it all out from under it, but there's still a little black where I was scraping it off with my fingernail, um, trying to get that clean. If you don't know who I am, I'm Pat. That's the P in Bless G and P stands for Bless Grandma Pat. I normally do unboxing videos and I am gonna do a, a Luxury Diva one cause it's already on the way and you know. And my stuff I ordered from Amazon never showed up so I have to reorder it. But I technically ordered it last year, last year so doesn't count towards messing my uh, um, no spin thing in because I already spent the money and I'm going to get a refund and then re rebuy it. it isn't, so that's not my fault. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that is it for now. Have you taken your tree down yet? I took mine down early. I usually don't take it down until sometime this week. But because Emma was having her New Year's Eve party, I took everything down and it's my house is back to its usual self except on my mantle now let's see if you can see it Ugh. right there oh, you can't see it but the plate Emma right there the plate Emma gave me for Christmas is now up on the mantle oh I shouldn't have twisted that now it's wanting to flop over <laughs> Alrighty. Oh man, my eyes look bad. Looks like somebody punched me out. <laughs> Gotta get some more sleep, I guess. I put some concealer on, something. Alrighty. Happy New Year. Love y'all. We'll have something else for later in the week. Not sure what. I'll figure something out. Love you. Bye-bye.